Hi Stampin' Friends, today I have a card made with the Rustic Retreat stamp set. It was designed by Mary Polson for her um, One Million in Sales reward. And it has a lot of cute little things that you can do with it. I love the little house and it has a Christmas um, sentiment, so that makes it very useful. Um, I actually used, um, it has a, a perfectly fine happy birthday. I actually used one out of the um, small birth, itty bitty birthdays set um, on my card just because it kind of fit better on mine. Um, this card, these are glued flat and this is on dimensionals so that that tucks in and keeps the card closed. So I wanted to show you that little design thing first. I do think if you think, hey, she shows a lot of this style of card, I do think it's my favorite. You know, it's the one where you cut your paper at four and a quarter, score at five and a half and two and three quarters, and then fold, and that's how you end up with this fold. Your paper here is the two and a half by four, and the paper here is the five and a quarter by four. Uh, I quickly want to show you how I use the birch background, which has very little actual wood grain to it, in my opinion, and it goes the opposite direction that I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go this way on my paper, and instead, if I just laid it down and stamped, it would go the other way, which wouldn't really, to me, look like a log cabin direction. So what I wanted to show you on this is I ink this up with just some uh, crumb cake ink and stamp it at a place that I have designed so that it only does one edge and leaves a little bit out since it doesn't all fit. Then when I scoot it up, I scoot it over a few and then up so that I can get the bottom part of this in a different spot. If you do it straight together, it will look like you've got a line in the middle. And it still has a little bit of that, but this takes care of it looking quite so strong when you flip it around a few times. And it get, eventually gets it an, to having enough so that it doesn't look that way anymore. Oh, and I wanted to leave this over where I had it the second time. There. And when you're using your Stamparatus, this goes really quickly because you're, you don't really have to worry about whether it's straight. If I had this on a glass block or a acrylic block, I would have trouble keeping my grain straight. But once I've got my grain straight on the board, then it's totally fine. So anyway, that's how I have done my background here so that I can get it on a big enough piece of paper. I also had a quick trip tip for you on these stitched rectangles. The way I did this, of course, this small little stitched rectangle was for my grizzly bear. And of course, the, you can see that the, this size was for my little house. The next smaller size was for the inside where it says wishing you a happy birthday. But this little guy was kind of a puzzle because he was too big to fit. What I did was I stamped him on this piece, this size, the same size as the house. Then I went down 19 or 20 tick marks along the side, one, two, three, you know, counting like that, and ran it through my big shot again to make it cut the other edge. So that is a really nice thing that you can do when you need a different size of rectangle or square um, cut with your um, stitched rectangles. So that's all the tips I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll follow my blog and join my newsletter. Thank you, bye-bye.